Tonight, plan proposed. Duluth school district leaders lay out their ideas for what schools should look like this fall. And despite a rough second quarter for some major mining companies, the steel industry seems to be looking up and people are going back to work. Plus, as campaign 2020 draws closer, primary elections are just around the corner. A look at preparations underway to conduct safe ballot casting. From CBS3 Duluth, this is the CBS3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. St. Louis County is one of six hotspots for COVID-19 cases across the state. That's according to research by Minnesota Public Radio over the weekend, which studied the per capita COVID-19 case growth over the span of three days. The county's Public Health Division Director, Amy Westbrook, weighed in on what this means for the region. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez has more. Confirmed COVID-19 cases in St. Louis County are rising. July has been a busy month with cases for COVID-19. St. Louis County's health expert, Amy Westbrook, says out of 454 confirmed cases to date, about 60% of them were reported in July. Yeah, we are seeing a, a pretty significant increase. Westbrook says it's difficult to pinpoint a reason why cases are increasing, but it could be because of more testing or lifted restrictions. Stay at home order lifted, so we're seeing more people out. It's summer, more people are out and gathering. Westbrook says that could also be the reason why the county is seeing more and more community transmission exposure to coronavirus versus spread in congregate care settings like we saw in the fall. We were seeing more individuals who um, had infection as, as it relates to health care, congregate care settings. Travel. Westbrook says ages 20 to 29 have the largest percentage of the county's cases and hopes the new mask mandate will help decrease numbers. We really want to encourage people to follow that and wear face coverings. Westbrook adds St. Louis County still hasn't seen the peak of the outbreak yet and we need to stay vigilant. A vaccine isn't coming anytime soon and so we're really relying on each other to um, preventing controlled transmission of disease in our communities. Okay, and I'm not We sure did reach out to St. Luke's and Essentia Health Hospitals to see if they still feel like they're ready for a possible surge heading into the fall. St. Luke's officials say they're always assessing and adjusting their ICU capacity, personal protective equipment, and ventilators levels and staffing to respond. Meanwhile, Essentia said they too are prepared for a surge. You can read the full quotes on our website. After distributing 4 million masks to Minnesota businesses, the state is making sure the seniors are protected too. Governor Tim Walz announced the state is providing 400,000 reusable cloth masks for the elderly. Nonprofit groups will hand them out. Seniors are most at risk for coronavirus and nonprofits say they've seen a big increase in need. Some don't have the means or ability to get masks. Governor Walls says wearing a mask will also help seniors safely reconnect with their community. To request a mask, call the senior linkage line at the number on the bottom of your screen. They mail out masks to seniors who need them. And Austin Haskins here for a quick look at the weather. Now, Austin, it's chilly out there, I, I would say. <laughs> yeah, temperatures are already beginning to fall uh, pretty quickly out there, Tony. You know, those sky, uh, skies are beginning to clear. The yeah. winds are calming down, and that's just the recipe for those temperatures to drop. So right now, looking at pretty quiet conditions really across the entire Northland. Already down to 55 degrees on top of the hill, 46 in Mercer and Waters, meaning 48 in Grand Marais. 63 still in Brainerd, so a little warmer, but temperatures are going to continue to fall throughout the night. And you can see those winds are essentially calm for really most everybody. Just a little bit of a breeze here in the Twin Ports. Now, down thinking we're going to get down to about 50 degrees tonight here in the Twin Ports, at least on top of the hill. I, there's a possibility I think we could actually drop into the 40s, at least in the Twin Ports, and areas away from the lake likely dropping down into the 40s. And I'll take a look at how cold it's going to get coming up here in just a few minutes. Thanks, Austin. More than 1.5 million Michigan voters have cast absentee ballots in the state's primary election, but there were still those who chose to vote in person Today, clerks' offices throughout the state have been preparing for voters ahead of today's primary election. Michigan's Secretary of State says she's happy with how everyone adjusted during this unusual election process. It's been really great to see all across the state, uh, exactly as we had hoped. People voted early, people are getting their ballots in on time, and people are voting in person, but when they show up, you see not a lot of crowds, not a lot of lines, and a lot of protocol in place, people wearing masks, gloves, and hand sanitizer to make sure that everything's going smoothly and 
everyone, no one has to risk their health in order to vote. Polls closed at 8 o'clock tonight. No word yet on when results will be announced. Meanwhile, Minnesota's primary is one week away, and Duluth City officials have been working with the Secretary of State's office to ensure anyone who has to vote in person can do so easily and safely. Voters who are entering one of Duluth's 34 polling precincts must wear a mask as it is a state mandate. The city has created a cleaning protocol approved by the CDC that includes volunteers wiping down every voting station after it's been used. So we'll be making sure that with that plan, uh, making sure that people feel safe and that they're able to come and cast their, uh, their ballot and lend their voice to that important election. The city doesn't have exact numbers yet, but reps say they've seen a large increase in absentee ballot requests due to the pandemic. Meanwhile, with no contested races on the primary ballot, superior officials aren't expecting much of a turnout at their polls next Tuesday. If you do come out to cast a ballot, you're asked to wear a mask, but the city clerk says you will not be turned away for not having one. They will also have sanitizer and wipes available, and as usual, ID is required. Officials also recommend requesting an absentee ballot for the presidential election in November as soon as possible. We have a link for that on our website, cbs3duluth.com. What will school look like for my student? That's a question many parents have been asking during this coronavirus pandemic. As the fall approaches, we're finally getting some answers. Duluth School Board met virtually tonight and Superintendent John Magus laid out a proposed plan. CBS 3's John Cardinelli is digging into the details tonight and explains what the school year could look like. Putting a plan together for an entire school district during a pandemic. I, I really have to say it's probably uh, the greatest professional challenge I've ever had in, in my life. Is no easy task. Making sure that we have a cohesive plan that first and foremost focuses on the safety and well-being of staff and students, but is also very focused on making sure that all learners are engaged has been our work. On Tuesday, Superintendent of Duluth Schools, John Magus, shed some light on what the school year could look like for many. We are recommending an initial model of elementary in person and secondary hybrid learning. The recommendation would follow state guidelines laid out by health officials. State and local guidance is uh, indicating that uh, younger children benefit best from in-person learning. High school will adopt a hybrid model where students will be broken up into four groups. Each group will be assigned one day where they will do in-person learning, with Wednesday being a designated online learning day. There's also plans to change the e-learning program to something called Canvas. It allows the teacher to present material and have a kind of a desktop for their learners as their learners engage. They're able to work with videos, they're able to post different things, and it's, it's, it's a uh, clearer format than, than just using Google Classroom. With the recommendation put forward, there are still some questions to be answered and discussed, as this is not a final plan. What we, sh we are sharing tonight is a working document. It's something that is going to continue to be developed on or developed over time. Families who do not want their child to attend in person will have an option for distance learning. The board will meet again Thursday and will consider a resolution to move forward with this plan. We have the full proposed plan available to read on our website. Organizations teamed up for a tech drive to meet the need of students. With the possibility of classes going online, some kids lack access to necessary technology. Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union hosted Tech Drive Tuesday along with Minnesota Computers for Schools. People donated their unwanted computers, phones, and keyboards to help equip students with proper distance learning gear. With distance learning, it's obviously become more evident that there is a gap in that accessibility because of the technology that people no, don't necessarily have access to in their homes. So making sure that we can get that in the hands of students is really important. Along with accepting tech donations, the credit union is matching monetary donations up to $25,000. As the steel industry starts to see some signs of recovery, one major steelmaker says there is still a long road ahead. United States Steel Corporation reported a second quarter net loss of $589 million. Now that compares to the second quarter of 2019, which saw net earnings of $68 million. In a call with investors, U.S. Steel President and CEO David Burrett said the second quarter performance was impacted by COVID-19 and a significant portion of the company's operations being idled played a big role. While Burrett said he's encouraged by the auto industry getting back on track and seeing more orders coming in, some operations will still be impacted. 
including Kiwan Taconite, which U.S. Steel officials confirmed Friday will remain idled indefinitely, impacting more than 300 workers. Better news for U.S. Steel's Mintac operation, which is now back to near full capacity. A similar story for Cleveland Cliffs. In a recent call with investors, the company recorded a net loss of $108 million during the second quarter of 2020. This compares to a net income of $161 million recorded in the second quarter of last year. Cliffs President and CEO Lorenzo Gonzalez called this last quarter an unusual one thanks to COVID-19, but said the outlook for the rest of the year is optimistic as most of the facilities which were idled are now back to full operation. That includes North Shore Mining in Babbitt and Silver Bay, which Gonsalves announced will be restarting this week. That means more than 450 people are heading back to work. Still to come on Live Local CBS3, we're hearing from the astronauts who spent the last two months in space. Their experience, next. And coming up in Maine weather, it's going to be another cool night across the Northland, but seasonable temperatures are set to return for Wednesday. We'll talk about that. Also some spotty rain chances in the forecast and a much warmer and humid weekend ahead. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. The Ford Summer Sales Event is here with great offers on a huge selection. Shop across the Ford lineup, America's best-selling brand. Now's the best time to buy. It's summer, so grab the family and head out. It's easier now during the Ford Summer Sales Event. Right now, lease a Ford F-150 today for just $2.99 a month. That's just $2.99 a month. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. If 2020 teaches us anything, it's that our public schools, our educators are indispensable. Providing childcare for workers on the front lines, preparing meals for hungry families, and above all, inspiring our students to reach for greatness. Believe in we, Minnesota. Electing lawmakers who will invest in, not cut, this essential resource. Mediacom's fiber-powered broadband network was built for the future, and it's in your community. Delivering gigabit speeds to every home and business we serve. We'll be one of the first in the nation to take you to 10G, making your community one of the fastest in the world. The foundation is in place, and Mediacom will be making way for brilliant possibilities, igniting economic development and lighting up communities nationwide. Hi, John with Prime Appliance. We were thinking about a tent sale until we saw the cost of renting a tent, insurance, labor, security, and then what about the weather? So we decided to have a no tent sale and pass the savings directly onto you with prices like this. Get quality Frigidaire and GE laundry pairs with electric dryers starting at just $11.99. Or get the Speed Queen front and top load laundry pairs with the best warranties at no tent sale pricing. Financing always available. Take it home today or set up delivery during the no tent sale at Prime Appliance. Enhance your quality of life. Increase your mobility. Achieve your potential. For specialized individualized care, call Northern Orthotic and Prosthetic Center. Providing the professional care you deserve. Northern Orthotic and Prosthetic Center. Serving people throughout Northern Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Upper Michigan. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Now, the CBS3 WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Austin Haskins. Well, good evening, everybody. Taking a quick look at East Aiea's, the latest update just came out from the National Hurricane Center, and it is still a tropical storm, but it is continuing to weaken. 45-mile-per-hour winds at the latest advisory, which came out just about 15 minutes ago, centered 45 miles east-southeast of Montreal, moving north-northeast at 38 miles per hour. So you can see it'll continue to move up into Canada and eventually weaken and move out of the U.S. and Canada. Now, here's a loop over the last 12 hours. You can see just how quickly this system made it its way up the coast. You can see now we're up north of Burlington. Actually, this is 24 hours. We can see how quickly 
it moved up the coast within 24 hours. And of course, as usually, when you get these storms over land, they end up weakening. But produced uh, tornado damage across a good portion of the East Coast and torrential rainfall too, as much as five, six, seven, eight inches of rain, in some cases even a little bit more. Now back in our area, we're not really dealing with any of that. We're dealing with clear conditions and very autumn-like conditions over the past several days. And highs today, well, at least if you're over to the west, it felt a little more like summer. Brainerd at 80 degrees for a high 77 in Bemidji. 60s along the North Shore and the Twin Ports and over into the South Shore and UP as well and 70 in Superior. But look at these temperatures right now. 48 and 53 in Grand Marais, already down to 45 degrees in Watersmead, 48 in Ashland. 55 on top of the hill in Duluth, 64 by the lake, and 63 in Brainerd. Winds, well, we're not seeing much wind right now. Very light breeze here in the Twin Ports, but those winds are going to be pretty calm tonight. And with the clear skies, those temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly. Dew points still pretty comfortable as well into the 40s and 50s. Slightly higher over to the west. Still very comfortable, though. And you'll want to enjoy that because those dew points are going to be going up into the weekend. We'll see a warm front push through Friday. So those dew points are going to go from the 40s and 50s to the 60s and maybe even your 70 as we head towards the weekend. So looking at the bigger picture, this is the European model. So high pressure is going to give us the nice weather for today and most of tomorrow. Tomorrow, We will see for our southwestern communities a slight chance of a few pop-up showers and storms for the afternoon as this area low pressure and stationary boundary approaches. And we will keep that chance around into Thursday a little bit, very spotty in nature. And then here is that warm front I was talking about that will bring in those more humid conditions as we head into the weekend. We'll see a few spotty storm chances on Friday as well and also continuing into early Saturday morning and into Saturday as well. So some stronger storms could be possible as well, but severe weather chances look to be low as of now. Low tonight dropping back into the 40s. Some areas could get close to the upper 30s even. I can't totally rule that out. About 50 here in Duluth. Back into the mid to upper 70s tomorrow to near 80 degrees with a mix of clouds and sunshine, more partly cloudy to mostly sunny, so uh, much nicer. Twin Ports, 50 degrees tonight, 76 for a high tomorrow, so very seasonable. In fact, that is our average this time of the year at 74 Thursday, then back into the 80s for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But again, humid conditions with a chance of storms over the weekend. Thanks, Austin. New tonight at 10, the two American astronauts who were the first to fly to space from U.S. soil in nearly a decade have been getting reacquainted with life back on Earth. Yeah, today they talked about their amazing adventure, and Donya Backus reports from Los Angeles. After 64 days in space, splash down. NASA astronauts Bob Bacon and Doug Hurley splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico Sunday. Just a few days after coming home, they say they're glad to be back on solid ground. Excited to be back. We're already working through our uh, exercise and rehabilitation program to kind of get our earth legs back. Godspeed, Bob and Doug! The veteran pilots were the first Americans to blast off from U.S. soil in nine years and the first to leave Earth on a rocket made by a private company. The rocket carrying the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule lifted off from Cape Canaveral May 30th. Hurley and Bacon joined the crew of the International Space Station a day later. They went on four spacewalks and performed about 100 hours of science experiments. The mission went just like the simulators. And, and I, I'm honestly from start to finish all the way. It, there was really no surprises. The greatest lesson folks can take from our experience is one of perseverance. Bacon's wife is also an astronaut. She'll be on the next SpaceX mission to the ISS next spring in the very same capsule that took her husband there. Hurley called the experience one of the true honors of his life. The splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico was the first of its kind by NASA in 45 years. The astronauts say the first food they had when they returned to Earth was, of course, a pizza. Still to come on live local CBS3, tropical storm Isaias continues its destructive march up the East Coast. Details coming up. CBS3 live cams are brought to you by Kolar Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. The TED event is happening now where you're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. I lost a ton of weight, 93 pounds. I feel good. I look good. 75 days on the program. I've lost 53 pounds, 41 and a half inches. You're not hungry. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA.
Call A1 Movers today to schedule a free office relocation estimate. We have all the necessary tools and experience to help streamline your business's change of address. Our friendly, uniformed crew will carefully relocate and protect both your new and existing facility. Whether across the street or around the globe, one call hauls it all. Take the burden off of your staff and put it on ours. Remember, moving is hard. Calling A1 Movers is easy. Say big on your next project with 11% off everything now at Menards. Update your exterior with Menards' huge selection of outdoor wall lights. Pick up this Riley outdoor wall light in a weathered bronze finish for just $69.95 after 11% off. Smart Coat is an advanced paint and primer in one with ultra smooth coverage, superior adhesion, and exceptional washability. Only $23.99 per gallon after 11% off. Start saving today with 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Hi, I'm Stephen Ray. At Miners National Bank, we offer local originating, local processing, local closing, and local servicing. For your next mortgage, apply now. MinersMortgage.com. Miners National Bank of Eveleth, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This summer, it's time to get back outdoors. Your Honda dealer is open and ready to get you into a new Honda today. Enjoy the sunshine in the family-friendly Pilot or the rugged Passport. Visit the Honda Summer Clearance Event and get a great deal from Honda. KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Get a great deal on the Pilot at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today. Hi, I'm Deb. By April 2016, I had lost 85 pounds. It was a very easy program to do. Blood pressure has gone way down. I feel great. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Classic Rock KQ is once again the Northland's number one radio station. The KQ Morning Show, the most listened to radio program in the Northland. The KQ Train Wreck, the Northland's number one afternoon show. Thank you for making us the Northland's number one radio station. 95 KQDS. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS 3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Matt. Tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Tropical storm Isaias continues its destructive march up the east coast tonight. The National Hurricane Center predicts the storm will continue dumping heavy rain and spawn more tornadoes. It has already caused at least four deaths. Floodwaters are waist deep in some parts of Philadelphia and in parts of Maryland. Cars are submerged. Along the entire east coast, the storm toppled trees and in New Jersey, it demolished a house that was under construction. Forecasters say the storm hasn't lost as much steam as expected after making landfall. It held its nearly hurricane-strength winds for at least 12 hours. There is one bit of good news. It's not lingering in any one place for too long. Crews are already beginning to restore power in North Carolina. Tropical storm warnings are posted as far north as Maine. Coming up in sports, plenty more from the Minnesota State High School League's decision to postpone football until the spring. Kelly and Seth has more up next. Eye on Mining is brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Eveleth. Imagine building your Range Regional Airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. Years fly by. Your retirement date keeps getting closer. Rather than spending another night worrying about your investments, get a second opinion on your investment strategy today. Let us show you how a professionally designed investment strategy that's aligned with your goals can help you sleep well at night. Go to MPPLfinancial.com to get our investment review checklist. Then call MPPL Financial this week for a complimentary second opinion consultation. A second opinion could be your best 2020 investment. Every day is sweet when we're serving you blizzard treats like M&M's, cookie dough, Reese's, and new Oreo fudge brownie. All made with our world famous vanilla soft serve. Thanks for being our fans for all these years. And here's to many more. DQ. Happy tastes good. I'm Jen McEwen, and I'm running to be your state senator from Duluth. 
All too often, politicians pit us against each other. Democrat versus Republican, urban versus rural, jobs versus the environment. In fact, we're all in it together. I'm proud of how our campaign has brought together people from all sorts of backgrounds. I've been endorsed by a wide range of labor, environmental, and community organizations. Join us, and together we'll build a stronger Minnesota and a stronger Duluth. At Super One Foods, we go to great measures to deliver you with top quality meat every day. Try our Black Angus 80% lean ground chuck for only $2.49 a pound and get bone-in chicken breast for just 99 cents per pound. Plus, we provide the best of the best in fresh produce. Get locally grown bicolor sweet corn for just 33 cents each and three pounds of Wisconsin grown B-sized red potatoes for just $1.99. Through all that we do, we've got you in mind. Super One Foods, serving you lower prices and better choices. Everybody likes something for nothing. Now at Home Furniture, when you spend $2.99 for something, you'll pay nothing down, nothing for interest until 2022, nothing for sales tax, and nothing for shipping. Shop furniture, mattresses, and even patio. And you can have them with nothing down, nothing for interest until 2022, nothing for sales tax, and nothing for shipping. Now that's something. The something for nothing sale going on now and only at Home Furniture. There's no place like home. Imagine building your range regional airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. COVID-19 has forced us to adjust to all sorts of news. Discovering Zoom, Sports Without Fans, and now Friday Night Lights in Minnesota is being moved to the spring season. CBS 3's Ryan Cabo spoke with MSHSL officials on the move, as well as Northland coaches on their thoughts of the decision. The best news today were that no sports were canceled. To avoid stopping and starting the Minnesota high school football season, the Minnesota State High School League announced Tuesday that football will be moving to the spring season. Moving those two sports to the, uh, to the March, April, May time frame made it more likely that they can go ahead and have their seasons. While coaches across the Northland are still hopeful they will be getting a spring season. There's light at the end of the tunnel, which is you know more than we can save for a lot of the student athletes last spring. Other coaches were caught off guard by the decision made Tuesday by the MSHSL. I was shocked to see that we were going to move it back into the spring. Schedules will be adjusted as the new fourth season will take place from mid-March to mid-May. Other changes to the schedule include no scrimmages, a 20% reduction in weeks, and 30% reduction in games. you got to make the best of a bad situation, so you got to look at the positives, you got to push that, and... Um, it's not over yet. We still have a chance to play so the kids can stay positive. Football teams will still be able to practice in some capacity. Coaches say that will go a long way. The more that we can put in and the more repetitions we can get, it's just like shooting baskets in, uh, in basketball. The more reps you get, the better off you're going to be. For Grand Rapids and Hermantown, who hope to kick off the season on their brand new turf fields, they are still holding out hope. We waited this long, a couple more months. Isn't that bad? So... We're in a good spot to be able to use that in the spring. And to be honest, if we were playing in the spring and didn't have turf, I'd be a lot more worried. And a lot of questions still remain. What will practice look like for football teams? Will there be a postseason tournament? And if fans will even be allowed to attend come kickoff in the spring. And there are some sports that will still have a season this fall. Soccer, cross country, girls tennis and girls swimming and diving are all still on and set to practice starting August 17th. The season will be reduced by 20% with a 30% reduction in competitions. No scrimmages will be allowed, and teams will only be allowed a maximum of two games per week. That's a decision on postseason events that is still being determined. A huge sigh of relief for some concerned coaches and players is who will still get to compete this fall. It's going to be a return to something that's more normal, which I think is a big deal for these kids, um, and so I'm happy for that. Um, so even if there are some changes here, yeah, we'll work with it and we'll do what we need to do. And, um, you know, keeping them together as a team, I think, means a lot more than some people realize. I mean, this, like I said, we, these girls work really, really hard. And, and being a part of this team and this process is, is, a, is a big deal to them. It's a big part of their life. So I think just, yeah, mental health wise, the boys are, are really excited. You know, I've got a whole slew of seniors coming back. 
it's their last year at it, you know, and, and just to have that opportunity to play, they're they're really excited about it. It's it goes a long way towards their uh, their mental health. And another late one for the Wild in the Stanley Cl Cup qualifiers. Alex Stalock shutout storyline will only live on for one game as Tanner Pearson opens up the scoring within the first minute of the game two game two with a snipe from the circle. But it's 1-1 as the Wild have just tied it up. This is going to be a late one, folks. Well, to baseball, top guns on each staff of the Brewers and Chicago squaring off Brandon Woodruff on the bump for the Brew Crew. Top three, Woodruff gets Jose Abreu looking to go to end the inning to keep it scoreless. Bottom of the fifth, one out and one runner on for Ben Gamel, who takes... Him to right, deep right field. Brewers lead to nothing. Gamble's second long ball of the young season. Trying to win on a walk-off just a few minutes ago, but no dice. Brewers go down 3-2 to two the final. And the Twins in action early for Game 2 with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Twins had little trouble loading up the bases. Therefore, the sack flies were a plenty. Luis Arraz drives one in in the bottom of the first. Byron Buxton adds another in the fifth. And Max Kepler, after walking three times, drives one in the fifth as well. This one was also delayed briefly due to an unidentified drone flying in center field. Twins end up winning this one 7-3 the final. To some college football news, Gopher standout wide receiver Rashad Bateman will sit out of the upcoming football season as head coach PJ Flex says Bateman informed the team that he and his family made the decision to forego his remaining eligibility and focused on training for the 2021 NFL draft. On Twitter, Bateman cited the uncertainty around health and safety in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back after this. Change the future of medicine from the convenience of home. Join the All of Us Research Program to help improve health research and speed up medical breakthroughs. Visit EssentiaHealth.org slash All of Us to learn more. Incredible savings during the big anniversary sale going on now at Slumberland. Deals galore throughout the store. From modern sofas and chairs to gorgeous beds and lots more. Top it off with totally free shipping. The big anniversary sale at Slumberland Furniture. This thing is really dusty. event is here with great offers on a huge selection shop across the ford lineup america's best-selling brand now's the best time to buy it's summer so grab the family and head out it's easier now during the ford summer sales event right now lease a ford f-150 today for just $2.99 a month that's just $2.99 a month only at your local northland ford dealers i'm eric simonson and i approve this message as a husband and a father, as a neighbor and a firefighter, and as your proud state senator, I'm asking for your support in the DFL primary election in August. The pandemic and recent tragic events have been challenging all of us. In the Senate, I'm working to make sure this recovery prioritizes the health, safety, and economic security of working families. I'm fighting for justice and equality for our communities of color, and I'm working to make sure quality health care and housing is affordable for everyone. It may be the most hated chore in America, cleaning the gutters. Don't risk life or limb digging leaves, seeds, or muck out of your gutters. Get off the ladder and get Gutter Helmet. Gutter Helmet is installed by certified professionals that can be retrofit to either existing or new gutters. Gutter Helmet is designed to provide year-round protection and is backed by a lifetime warranty, which guarantees that you will never clean your gutters again. And if they ever clog, Gutter Helmet will clean them for free. Gutter Helmet, America's most trusted brand since 1981. Visit GutterHelmetNorthland.com or call 218-259-1272. Incredible savings on Sealy mattresses during our big anniversary sale now at Slumberland. Get a Sealy Queen mattress as low as $99 or a luxurious Sealy Posturepedic for $9.99. Plus free shipping. The big anniversary sale at Slumberland. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Man. Mainstream is your wedding headquarters. Downtown Duluth.
All right, Austin, let's get a final look at the weather. Kind of chilly out there tonight. Yeah, those temperatures are already dropping into the 40s and 50s, and I think most hometowns, and as you can see, they're dropping likely back into those 40s tonight. And I wouldn't even rule out the possibility, Tony and Kristen, of some towns even dropping into the 30s, even up towards uh, Chisholm and Hibbing tonight, or even over to the east as well. So uh, definitely a night for the sweatshirts for sure, but also open up those windows and let that fresh air in for yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be bundling up, that's yeah, for that's sure. Great. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. We'll see you.